Hello, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. I'm going to be doing the Capricorn Daily Energy Reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not, especially since this is a general reading for lots of different people. All right, we're going to be looking at what you may be struggling with. We have Nine of Cups, so reaching out to someone. Um, telling them your feelings and your emotions about something, having a conversation. We have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like it's getting something back on track. And then we have the Emperor. Could it possibly be towards an Aries? All right. The advice from the Tarot. We have the Three of Swords. The Hierophant, which could represent Taurus. And we have the star card, which could represent Aquarius. So you kind of got a lot of people going on here. Energy coming in. We have the nine of swords. We have the five of swords. And then we have the eight of wands. Overall energy. We have wheel of fortune change. I kind of feel like it's expressing your feelings to someone. I feel like you're holding back. I feel like you're not really expressing your true feelings about a situation and that can be definitely hard and especially for Capricorn I'm a Capricorn Sun and a Capricorn rising and and I feel like Capricorns keep their feelings close to their vest again take what resonates leave what does not if this does not resonate for you that's totally fine but I feel like Capricorns protect themselves and so they keep their emotions and their feelings close to their vest or that they don't really want to share those unless it's someone that they can truly um, trust, but I feel like trust is something that, you know, Cap I know Cap Capricorn does not give trust easily, but I feel like you, I feel like you want to express yourself and that you want to take control of your feelings and your emotions and that you want to do this, but I feel like you're struggling with it. Because I feel like maybe you're thinking that it's a sense of vulnerability and a loss of power within yourself that you're like, well, if I tell this person how I'm feeling or how they upset me or, you know, my emotions, then it makes me feel vulnerable, which is true. But I also feel like it's not only that you're expressing your emotions or your feelings, but you're able to release those and let those go instead of questioning yourself or keeping them to yourself or letting them kind of eat away at you or build up resentment between you and this person. But it's, it, it is being able to express your emotions or your feelings is a powerful thing. And that's kind of how you have to look at it is that you're, you feel strong enough and you feel confident enough in yourself that you're going to be like, Hey, like that really bothered me or that really upset me, or this is how I'm feeling about that. It's not so much about the person's response to you expressing your feelings. It's the fact that you stood up for yourself and that you were able to say, Hey, I'm feeling this certain way, right? I feel like it's acknowledging this three of swords with the advice from the tarot. I feel like the tarot is saying, acknowledge your three of swords, acknowledge your hurt, right? Acknowledge that because that is what empowers yourself with the hierophant, right? And, and uh, helps you to trust yourself and have that faith and belief and that guidance within yourself. But it also gives you hope and direction again and saying, yeah, I don't have to keep all my feelings to myself. I don't have to keep all my emotions to myself. That if somebody did or said something that bothered me or hurt me, that I'm powerful enough that I can tell that person and I can let them know like, hey, like that really bothered me or that upset me. It doesn't mean that you have, I'm not saying to be overly emotional. I feel like there's a particular situation or a particular incident that you're keeping to yourself. And it may be something, this may be like change, like for the overall energy, we have the wheel, which is change. And it's like, it's time to change. It's okay to acknowledge if you're hurt by something or you're upset by someone. And it doesn't, yes, it gives you the sense of vulnerability, but it also gives you this sense of power. And it's saying, hey, like how I feel is valid. My thoughts are valid, how I feel is valid. And that I'm strong enough to be able to express how I feel. And it's not about whether or not that person acknowledges it. Because when you're vulnerable, like then you can really see kind of deeper into that relationship. And like, is that person going to acknowledge it? Are they going to, you know, 
say something about it or are they going to ignore it and they're just going to keep going the way that they are going and maybe that's a, a relationship that maybe I, you need to make adjustments with right that maybe you need to maybe set some boundaries with and it's like oh well I trusted this person and here I am trying to let them know how I'm feeling but they're completely ignoring me or they're just being the same way so maybe that's a relationship that I need to make adjustments in so it's also finding about that relationship that you have but seeing that as something that is empowering you um that it's helping you to connect with people it's helping them to see how you feel about something and you can choose those people that you want to get closer to you can choose those people that you want to you know form a stronger relationship with you can choose those people that you want to maybe distance yourself from or you know not be as involved or change that relationship but i also feel like it's also having you to realize that it doesn't matter what someone else has to say it's it's helping yourself because if you have something that you're holding on to instead of it eating away at you or you spinning through your head with it or you like having it build and build and build and it's not affecting that other person like if you're always thinking about it or you're angry or you're upset or you're building up resentment like it's not affecting that other person that person is taking up space in your own head and it's working against yourself. And it's like, why do I want to do that to myself? Like, I want to think about happy things. I want to think about positive things. I want to think about my goals and my dreams and how can I make my life better and how can I make better decisions for myself? How can I surround myself with that core community that is there to support me and really cares about me? And it's like, those are the things that you want to be focusing on, not the anger and the three of swords energy and the energy that wants to come in for you is like realizing that worrying about things doesn't help things right that it doesn't change things that if you're in this nine of swords energy and you're stressing and you're having anxiety about something it doesn't change the situation I mean it kind of makes this whole situation worse for yourself right it's not going to make it better it, it, that it's like not letting what other people have to say bother you and that moving forward is focusing on those positive things like I was saying before about okay I want to spend my time thinking about my goals and my dreams and how can I change things and what can I focus on that's going to help me and make my life more fulfilling right that's going to make each day and each moment better and more f fulfilling like I've always said through all of my readings it's about your mindset it's about how you see things it's about you know what's most important to yourself right it's about bringing in change and learning okay this is kind of a weak spot for me is because you know maybe you hold hold in your emotions and your feelings and you feel like you're really protecting yourself and that you're being strong and you know being vulnerable is a sign of weakness but it's like it's like okay the only one that it's hurting is myself because I'm I'm staying stuck in this nine of swords energy and I'm staying stuck in this three of swords energy and the only one that it's bothering that and I'm brewing and I'm seething right I mean that's what I used to do is I used to think about it and I would just like get so angry and I'd brew and it, it just it would take up so much of my time and I'd be like and I realized this is a waste of my time right like I want to be more productive with my time being more productive with your time being more productive with your mindset right uh here we are canary spirit i love this one sing your own song sing your own song focus on what is important to you focus on what brings you happiness and you enjoyment is life all rainbows and unicorns absolutely not we definitely have challenges i had a huge challenge at the barn yesterday that i had to deal with um and it was very upsetting but my my end goal was to say how can I move on from this situation and not dwell on it because I'm kind of a dweller <laughs> like I would just dwell on things and, and just spin things through my head so it was like what is it that I need to do in this situation so that I'm going to be able to let it go that I'm not going to be thinking about it I'm not going to be dwelling on it that it's not going to ruin my, it took me some time to work through it. I also had to call my sister. I had to throw a lifeline out to my sister. Um, and she was very helpful. And 
I kind of realized, okay, what do I need to do for myself in order to be able to move on from this situation and not dwell on it? And I feel like that's you too, is what do you need to do for yourself to be able to move on from the situation so that you're not keeping this bottled up energy of this nine and three of swords. And I love this one too. Uh, this may be one of my favorites in here is uh, Panther Spirit and Reclaim Your Power, okay? It's up to you to reclaim your power. It's up to you to choose what it is that you're focusing on and what it is that you're thinking of. Reclaiming your power doesn't mean that if you express your emotions or feelings about something that you're, that you're vulnerable. I, I mean, yes, you can be. It doesn't mean that you have a loss of power. It's feeling confident in, enough in yourself and saying, I'm reclaiming my power and I'm going to let that person know that that bothered me or that upset me. And so that's, that's, that's what I did is, is my intention was, is to have that conversation with that person and say, you know, this is why I'm upset over this. This is why I'm, I'm struggling with this because this is what I'm, what I'm dealing with. And it, it, I felt so much better and it got resolved and I was like able to let it go and enjoy the rest of my day. And I was like, oh, this feels so much better. So thinking of it from the point of view is what do I need to do for myself in order to be able to move on from the situation and not be dwelling on it, right? Not be hyper-focusing on it, not having it spin around and around in my head, right? What can I do for myself to sing my own song and to reclaim my power? Um, to restore hope within myself, right? And to be able to move on in a positive way. What do I need to do for myself? And it's asking yourself that those questions is, is what do I need to do for myself to get past this? And just sometimes I'll just talk out loud. Like I happen to be talking with my sister. So I'm like, you know, I'm, I was talking, I was talking and she was listening and I was able to kind of work it through within myself. She was giving me her suggestions, but I was able to figure out, okay, what do I need for me to move on? She's giving her suggestions and I'm definitely taking in her information, but I'm like, okay, thinking within myself, what do I need to move on from this situation? So we have healing, restoring hope. I love it because you had the star card that came up. Healing yourself and restoring hope within yourself. What do you need for you? Be honest with yourself. What do you need for you? to move past this three of swords and to, to acknowledge it and say to yourself, how do I move on from this three of swords? How do I move on from this hurt? How do I move on from this distance that I've created between this situation or this person, right? Change that, right? That if this is a weakness or this is a weak spot, saying to yourself, how do I work through this? How do I find a resolution? Ask yourself those and be honest with yourself and saying, this is what I really need to do is I need to express my feelings. We have control. Even this is reclaim your power and taking control of the situation and not letting that situation take control of you, right? How do you regain control over this? Because when you're stuck in your head in this nine of swords and this three of swords, you've sort of lost a sense of control. Um, Sorry, I'm coming down with a cold, so <laughs> I'm like not happy about that. I do not have time to be sick, but anyways, how do you get back control of the situation? Instead of the situation controlling you, right, that you're obsessing about this three of swords and this nine of swords, how do you, how do you gain control of the situation? What do you need to happen for you to move on? Let's grab a angel answers. We have you're ready. You're ready for change, definitely. I feel like, you know, it's also about being in the mindset that you're ready for change with this wheel. So um, I feel like kind of with that there, I feel like that's, it's like you're ready for change. You're ready for things to be different. You're ready to handle things in a different way. You're ready to learn, you're ready to grow. Um, you're ready to take control, to sing your own song, to reclaim your power, right? To restore hope within yourself and to not feel hopeless. Sometimes it takes time. It took me probably like, I had to step away from the situation for probably like 30 minutes, 45 minutes for me to go through my thoughts and my feelings and my emotions and figure out, okay, what's going on here? How do I resolve this? What do I need? Right, and I threw out my lifeline to my sister, and I, I, I also took time to myself. 
you have to figure out for yourself what do you need in the moment in order to get your thoughts clear, right? In order to have that clarity of, okay, what's my next step? What do I do? Do I just drive away and ignore it, but then think about it the whole time and, you know, have it ruin the rest of my day? Or, or what do I need to resolve from this? And to step away, whether it's a few hours or whether it's a few days or a few weeks, knowing that, like, that's a way for you to control the situation and say, hey, I'm not ready to talk about it now, but I need X amount of time to work through it and figure out what my next step is. We have never ending story, so not repeating that never ending story of where you just keep it all inside and you hold on to it. And because when you do that, it starts to affect you in different areas of your life, right? It starts to affect your work, it starts to re affect your relationships with other people, it starts to affect your sleep and your eating, right? that it really starts to affect you. And you're like, I see that this is where this is going. So I need to head this off before this gets any worse. And that's what I realized yesterday. I'm like, I know where this is going. I know what is going to happen. So what do I need to do to move past this? I don't want to fall into that. I know where it's going because it's not going to be in a positive place. We have the thinking woman. So taking that time to think about that's what I was saying earlier is stepping away from the situation and thinking about what do you need to resolve this it doesn't matter about what the other person needs what do you need to resolve this situation what do you need to work on what do you need that is going to give you a peace of mind right let's grab a um, psychic tarot we have uh the two of cups spiritual union um, and I feel like it's looking out for yourself enough, having that love for yourself and that connection to yourself to look out for yourself. Sometimes I feel like, you know, we do things to self-sabotage ourselves. I've spent most of my life doing that. And now I'm realizing, okay, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to protect myself. I want to have love for myself. I want to have a relationship with myself that I feel I can trust myself, that I'm not going to leave myself hanging or put myself in a situation where I already know that it's going to make me feel negative or make me feel bad. And I want to change that, right? And having that love and that connection for yourself and that you look out for yourself. Let's grab a fortune reading card. We have coffin, natural endings abound. Take care with your health, okay? Ending, like ending this cycle of holding on to the three of nine and swords, right? and the five of swords, worrying about what other people are thinking. or I mean, Capricorn likes to make it seem like Capricorn doesn't really care what other people think. And in a way they, do, they don't, but in a way they do. Uh, Capricorn's very, <laughs> Capricorn's hard to figure out. <laughs> um, lots going on in Cap the Capricorn mind. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. If that doesn't resonate for you, that's fine. Um, but I have double Capricorn, Capricorn sun and Capricorn rising. So definitely, I, so I, I have twice as much Capricorn, right? So a lot of that's going on in my head, but I feel like it's looking out for yourself and saying, I have to end this, right? That I don't want it to affect my health. I don't want it to get in my head. I don't want it to affect my relationships and my sleeping and my eating. I don't want to, I don't want to get sick from it, right? Because when you are stressed by things, then you're more vulnerable to germs and then you catch colds and you get sick and you don't feel good and you get worn down. So it's like saying, okay, I'm gonna head this off before it even turns into something bigger and realizing that I know this is where this is going and I wanna head this off. Taking control, right? Reclaim your power and, to, and healing and restoring hope to yourself, right? And you're ready for those changes. But what are those changes with that thinking woman? You have to figure out what is best for you. All right. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you have an amazing day. And I hope this has helped you in some way. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.